So I'm going to show off some of the new UI for uh, manipulating planes in uh, Apex Atom Probe software. Um, I'm going to run this Apple script to uh, load a file and define uh, atom types and uh, mass windows and such. Um, I'd like to go to the um, create plane uh, item. I'm just going to drag out a plane, click in the middle of a plane, and then drag out the edge like this. So defining a point that's in the plane and drag to define a thickness. And that shows us a a, um, a plane in the sample. And see like this. And um, and see in the mass spectrum the uh, atoms that are inside the that plane. And see our sample here. Um, I'm going to choose the item to show only the selection, that is only the items in the plane. So you can see the uh, this particular sample is the uh, copper precipitates in uh, in an iron alloy. So you can see there. Now part of our um, new UI bits are this uh, composition map. Now here is essentially a, um, uh, a composition profile of of the contents of the plane. Let me spin the box around to get it oriented the same way as the as the map. And so you can see these uh, precipitates are represented in the map as as deficient here in the in the um, uh, in this map. That's uh, because we're currently displaying iron, which is the majority component. If instead we display copper, you can see the precipitates showing up. Um, uh, the new UI elements. This is a uh, uh, a slider which changes the thickness. Let me put the sample on edge here so you can see what happens as I make the thickness grow. The plane gets thicker and of course the contrast in the concentration map goes down because uh, we're sampling above and below the the precipitates as well. Then this slider moves the plane up and down. So you can really s get a sense of how the precipitates are distributed in the plane as you go up and down like this. So the planes are defined by having a, a uh, point in the plane. So you can see that that point in the plane, the numbers right above the, uh, the slider are changing as we move up and down. The normal vector is sta stays the same. Um, and we can show nickel can show aluminum the aluminum and the copper precipitates are correlated and uh, the other component I'm going to show also here um, the uh, this item which uh, controls the display of the various types so I can uh, turn off the nickel atoms turn off the copper atoms turn off the silicon in the display now as the iron is disabled here why is that that's because the uh, iron is set to be zero in size. If I change that to one in size, you'll see them now show up, and I'll be able to turn them on and off as well. So that's a new um, uh, new feature for planes uh, in um, in Apex, and of course, as always, Apex is. Uh, uh, these features are scriptable. In the script that I ran to set things up, let's say I made three planes. Again, we're supplying a thickness, a position in the plane, and a normal vector. And in addition to the one that I dragged out in the beginning, there are now four planes defined. So you can see them all here. There's one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them. I'm going to switch between them here. Hope you like the feature.